It was a fantastic game here at the Cary Center. The Waynesburg University Yellow Jackets came away victorious 73-68, to and Brendan Smith is our Foster Lobsters player of the game. It was a back-and-forth effort, really physical. You had 26 points in this game, unofficial stats. I could be wrong. <laughs> but a lot of free throws made at the very end. Talk about this game all together, and you know, what pushed you guys to victory towards the end there? Um, well, our team this year has faced a lot of adversity, so um, that kind of just explains us and how we come out every single game. And St. Vincent's always a good team. So um, just coming in with that mindset, uh, we had a really good start tonight. So we just tried to build off of that good start. So you, if you've done some research before, which I'm sure you guys have, um, St. Vincent averaging about 70 points per game coming into this. Um, and they got close to that, but it seemed like in the first half, you guys completely shut them down and shut them down when it mattered most towards the end of the game. How do you slow down such a high-powered offense with a guy like Shamar Bennett and David Steven who can shoot the ball, work down low? You know, What was your game plan and how did it work? Uh, I got to give a lot of credit to our coaches. Um, we really worked a lot these last couple of days in practice because um, we know how good those kids are. I'll give a lot of credit to them. They're great basketball players. Um, so you can really only limit them, like you said. Uh, so we tried to double on Bennett anytime he would catch it in the post. And that's new to us because we completely changed our defense. So um, being able to adapt is uh, really tough in, uh, in a two-day span. But um, just little things on defense like that, staying in our gaps, just making um, making their players think they don't have an open lane to the basket. So you talked about that that two day span that you guys had. Now you had a big win against W and J, your rivals, and then you had a big win against Geneva. So now you're on a three game win streak, a three game win streak in the conference. How did that carry you into this game, riding off those two big wins? Oh, it was huge for us. Um, right now our conference is pretty even, so. Uh, That'll that'll raise us up because we were kind of at the bottom before our, for our or before these couple wins we got we were dead at the bottom. So uh, you guys are right in the middle now. Yeah, now exactly. with three wins in the conference, you're right mm -hmm. in the mix of things. Exactly. So uh, it was definitely a huge win for us, and uh, we just have to build off it and uh, not be settled over this win, even though it was a huge win. <laughs> so uh, you guys, you mentioned the adversity. You know, you had some injuries early to some key players. Um, you know, you have a, a first year head coach with you guys. You guys went through a lot of trials and tribulations early, but now you're really starting to pick it up when it matters most. You know, how have you guys kind of turned that season around, especially in the conference, to get you know some of this momentum going now as, as we're at the back half now? Um, since the start of the year, our coach has just said buy in, buy into our program, buy into him, buy into what he's saying. Um, and I think we all finally realized that at whatever point it was, and uh, it's really paid off. Um, and I, I can't thank Coach, everybody else on our team, just because uh, it's a work in progress, and obviously it's still in progress, but it's great when you see things like this come of that. Okay, man, so last question. I, I, this is kind of a fun one, but you know, you go into the Cary Center, it's a really tough place to play. These guys are super talented. Uh, the fans like to get behind them. What does it feel like to get a win here in the Cary Center in front of that boisterous crowd? Um, you know, it, it means a lot to me because before I even came to college, my first visit, was when Waynesburg played uh, St. Vincent here the year before I got here. So I've always thought of college basketball as that atmosphere. And every time I come here, they're always packed. Uh, the fans are always behind them. They got great loud fans. So uh, that helps them. I know they build off of that all the time. And I, I honestly love playing here. I love their facilities. Uh, it's, a, it's a good place. So definitely a hard place to play, but you guys fought hard, a back and forth effort, but you were able to get the victory 73 to 68. And with 26 points and tremendous from the free throw line, that's why Brendan Smith was our Foster Lobsters player of the game.